This is my intro song. It isn't very long. That's all. Go ahead. Go on, watch the video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Bonjour, hello, hola. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing fabulous. I hope it is a wonderful day for you. I'm letting you know that today is a very special day. Today we are doing a PR unboxing. And honey, it is from the beautiful people of Savvyland. But before we get started, you see we still rocking these nails, honey. We still rocking the nails. I love the overlay. I'm loving these acrylics. I don't want to let go of Pride Month. But honey, here it is Pride every single day. So, thank you so much to all my subscribers. I so am appreciative of every single one of you. I appreciate all the comments, the likes. I love engaging with you. It is one of my favorite parts of this, is growing the community, meeting new people, discussing things. It's really fun. So I'm so glad we get to do that. If you're new here, welcome to Betty Q Nails. We're a cute little family. We love to do nail unboxings, nail applications, and general chit chatty stuff, you know? So if you're not subscribed, please take a second, click that subscribe button, just go ding, and click the bell notifications so you're aware of whenever we post new videos. That's super important. And let's get started, honey. So, I'm so excited because we are going to be unboxing Savvy Land's brand new. I'm going to knock down everything. We're going to be unboxing the Savvy Land's Excelsior Nail Art Expert Dip Powder Kit. Honey, the packaging. Beautiful. The fine people at Savaland sent this over for me to share with you. This is their brand new Expert Dip Powder Kit. This is going to offer you even better strong nail protection. This is, has a lot of keratin, castor oil, vitamin E, B5, and B7. So all these ingredients together will help strengthen, build up, and protect your nails. Very important. So, on their packaging, we have over a million plus manicurists that give her a five-star rating. They are the cooperative brand of over 2,000 nail salons. Wow, worldwide. They've sold more in than a they've sold in more than a hundred countries. Now that is fierce. And regions around the world. And they're at the first choice of over 10 million users. I mean, that right there shows some quality. So here we have, you know, the back of the product. So it is the Expert Dip Powder Kit. It is 100% vegan and cruelty free and non-toxic. This pack is awesome because it comes with a two ounce jar of clear acrylic. Um, it comes with a little bottle of the dip base, not even little bottle, I'm sorry, 15 mLs. An activator of 15 mLs, uh, a top coat, of 15 mLs. So this set will come with everything you need to create a beautiful little manicure. So this one is an upgraded formula and it has added keratin in the dip powder with castor oil, the vitamin E, the B5, and the B7 in the top dip base and activator for stronger protective nails and the prevention of moisture loss. 
So for those that don't know, dip powder is basically acrylic that has been ground a lot finer. So you can, but really you shouldn't use acrylic um, monomer, I'm sorry, to apply dip. You should use everything that comes with the brand's kit. So if you are using a dip powder, make sure you're using dip liquids. There are some products out there that are two in one, both acrylic and dip, where you can use the monomer to pick up beads of both. But in this case, this is just for dip, okay? So I'm very excited about this. All right, so let's get into the unboxing, okay? First choice of at home and salon honey. Beautiful. So let's get my trusty scissors. Okay, so we got a little... Oh, I love that. Does anybody else still do like the popping? I love it. Okay, I'm gonna save this for later. It's gonna be like a little treat. Okay, fab. So, let's just unbox. You get a lot of this kit, honey. Alright, so it looks like this is everything that is in the Sabaline Expert Dip Powder Kit. I'll put this on the side for now. Alright, so here we go with the Sabaline Expert Keratin Dip Powder. And this is in clear. And as you can see, it is a 60 gram, 2 ounce jar. Love it. I like that it's actually like deeper because you know sometimes I like to wear long nails so I mean maybe not this long but you know you can get a good length nail in there to dip so that's pretty cool all right so let's start with the liquids all right so these are your liquids from savvy land for your dip system okay so here are your th three liquids the dip base right here ain't she cute she has a little number one on the side so the dip base provides the best adhesion of the powder to the nails and it really helps to ensure long lasting results so don't skip this step <laughs> Um, we have the activator. Now the activator, it speeds up the dip powder curing and provides nail durability without the need for a nail lamp. So this is what will harden your dip powder and your dip base once you applied the product onto your nails. It will help dry it. It will basically help cure the product and get it nice and solid for you. 
And then we have our beautiful dip top, which is number three. Trois. This. Now the dip tops can provide luster and shine to the nails and protect the nails from any chipping, scratching, or any cracking. So she's going to make sure that your dip manicure stays gorgeous, honey. Okay? So we have those. And we have a beautiful little kit. Saddleland provides a 100-180 file, very important for shaping and buffing, make sure those edges are nice and snatched, honey. Ooh, they provided us a nice buffer, so this is going to add a nice shine and smooth surface. So this is a 600, 3000 grit. So remember, the higher the grit, the smoother the surface. The lower the grit, the rougher. So this you would not use <laughs> for shaping. This is definitely a finishing file buffer. So awesome that they provide that. All right, so they do provide a nice fluffy dip brush. So this is used after you apply or dip your finger. This is to remove any excess of the powder from your nails so you don't contaminate any of these extra brushes that they provide. So these extra brushes are very important. I'm glad that they provide this because not everybody is careful when it comes to dip powder. So with dip powder, you want to make sure that you do not contaminate your liquid. So your base is basically what you're going to be gliding over existing product onto your nails. So anything that's trapped in your brush you always want to try and just wipe it off you will see once i'm doing it so you can see exactly how i do my best to try and keep my brushes clean so i actually have a bunch of extra of these because i want to make sure you know i want to make sure i keep my products clean and as non-contaminated as possible and then we have a gorgeous buffing block She's soft. She's gritty. It feels like it's probably about 180, maybe 150, but great to have. And of course, we have the Sabinland Exosior Nail Art Dip Powder Nail System Manual. So now, if you've never done dip, if you've never done any at home products, make sure you follow any instructions that the company provides. Remember, they're the experts. They're the ones that made the product. So they know what's best in terms of procedure and process. So it's saying here, the advantage of this Savaland powder it is a fine powder. They have vivid colors in their collection, which is available online. And you do not need this nail lamp here. You don't need her, so I'm sorry. Shove her out the way. Gets you a nice strong nail, smooth and long lasting. The dip powder can actually be used to repair nails and do nail art. So you can do a nice little clean overlay over your natural nails. So if you know if you have thin nails or damaged, you can definitely use this to help get your natural nails back in the game, honey. Okay, it is safe. We have healthy ingredients, non toxic, non irritating odor, 
vegan and cruelty free. Now, I'm not sure any of y'all have ever used dip before, dip liquids. Sometimes they tend to be strong. So I'm very happy that it says it's non-irritating and non-toxic. Because many people complain of, you know, when you use dip powders, you want to make sure you stay on the nail. Anything that gets on your skin could cause something called the dip flu. But Sadderland has really taken their, you know, steps to make sure that they are providing a healthy product for you to use. All right, so this is easy. It can be both used by nail beginners and pros, and it's suitable for the nail salon and DIY. All right, so it does provide a beautiful how-to. You know, apply the cuticle remover, push, use your cuticle pusher, clean the surface, you know, your basic fabulous prep. The dip process here, they do explain, apply your base, be sure to apply lightly to a short even application. So don't go crazy thinking it's like a gel where you would, you know, get a nice thick coat. No, you want a nice thin coat. <coughs> mm, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, you really want to make sure that you have a nice thin layer to get proper adhesion and a better application. So it does say, pro tip, put the brush back into the virginal bottle after each applying and try to avoid exposing the liquid of the bottle to the air for a long time. So this is very true, so don't leave any of your bottles open because this is a non-curing product that does not need the lamp. So this will cure by the air. So if you leave any of your bottles open, they could evaporate and dry up. You do not want it. Um, all right, so we're gonna repeat the steps of the dip to get the colors we want. In this case, this is for clear. So I wanna make sure we get good, um, a good strength in the nail. All right, another pro tip, make sure that the dip powder is dry before proceeding to the next step. Air humidity does affect the degree and time of drying. If the dip powder is obviously not dry, you can also apply several layers of that activator. So that's actually something I do. Whenever I'm doing multiple layers of dip, I tend to use the activator after maybe every two layers to make sure because the more I feel that you build up with the base and add up and add powder it's gonna get a little more difficult for that activator to penetrate all those layers so I try to do it maybe after every two to three um, and then top coat Tips, clean the nail immediately after each use. Put the nail brush into the brush saver, tighten the cap, wait for five minutes and place it in the original bottle. So this one did not come with a brush saver. So this must come with some of their other products. Now a brush saver is typically some sort of a solution where you would put the brush that is inside of your base so whatever's in your base, you would put that brush inside of the brush saver just to give it some time to clean out any you know, of the debris that was inside of the brush. But you see it's very soft. So that's why I say after each application, I just take it and I just, you know, clean it very well in on a paper towel, on a and free wipe before I put that back in the bottle. Because if you put any of those particles of the dip powder into the bottle, they will affect the liquid. It'll get thick. It'll become a gunky mess. So take the procedures, take your time, and get it right. All right. Apply the cuticle oil around the cuticle once you've done. All right. Warm tips. 
place this in a cool place. No sunlight, keep out of direct sunlight. Tighten the cap immediately to avoid exposure to air. After using the activator, you gotta wait 60 to 120 seconds to dry. Do not overly bruise the nail plate using sharp tools. Hello. Savalan dip activator. They're made of a healthy formula. If you feel a slight odor, it's normal and not harmful to the human body. Pay attention to ventilation when using. So regardless of any low odor system that you're using, you know, whether you're using a monomer, a dip system, and the liquids, always make sure you're properly ventilated you want to make sure that you have a window open maybe with a little fan just to blow out and keep air circulating just in case because some of these products you know whether they're low odor or not if they've been around for a while that odor will tend to build up so definitely you know keep your stuff open here oh this is so cute so if you are happy, thank you for choosing them. They are proud to provide the best nail art experience with our products. And if they're satisfied, they do have their email here. They have their Twitter now known as X. They have our on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube, homie. And as a reminder for the YouTube, for anybody that's not subscribed, take the second, pause the video, pause, make sure you're subscribed to Barry Key Nails, and if you're not, click that red button and subscribe, because you know, we appreciate it here, and it's free, so that's like super awesome. Um, it does provide information if you are happen to be unhappy and they apologize for any inconvenience caused and they do not rest until you are smiling they want to turn this into this so they'll do their best to provide you with a hundred percent customer satisfaction we love to hear it so this is the fabulous kit i am so excited to get started so we have this set up for our dip experience. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I have never, I ever done a full dip set. So I'm very excited. So we're gonna go ahead and just remove this set, this poly gel overlay, and we are going to just clean up and get to the point where we can begin using these fabulous products. I'm very excited. I'm trying to think on what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure what kind of design I'm gonna do, but honey, we gonna do something that is gonna be cute. So stick around, I'll be right back. I'm gonna just take care of this. So we got a nice clean slate to work on. Be right back. All right, my loves, so we are here. I have removed all of my overlay. Not all of it, I left a little bit of a layer, a protective layer for myself, as we know that I do. So these are my tips that I'm gonna use. Now I'm gonna um, use a brush on glue to affix these to my fingers. Bam, down. <laughs> all right, so. We have a nice little almond sort of shape. I love it. They're all on, they're secure, they're ready. So now we are going to take our trusty dust collector and we are going to uh, want to get rid of that ledge that is there. Um, especially when using dip powders, I like to get rid of that ledge because it's not as easy to hide I feel than when using acrylics or using um, any coat of uh, gel nail enhancements so as you can see we have a ledge there and we want to just dremel that with our sanding band so we're going to turn on our dust collector and we're gonna go very gently over 
as much as possible over only the enhancement um you will see me eventually start going over both the nail bed and the enhancement reason being is that i do have product left on my natural nail so i don't feel uncomfortable um by uh, dr uh using the sanding band to like smooth the surface so both the nail enhancement and the protective layer that i left are pretty even so it'll be pretty nice even application once we get to our dipping so you see i'm really not going at a high speed i'm just going along the edges trying to apply some pressure down on the enhancement and I see I'm just feeling to see if I can feel the ridge and you see me going over on the sides trying to get rid of that notch make sure the uh, side walls are nice and snatched as much as possible because you know we like a nice snatched phalange as one of our other nail friends loves to say And this step, like I said, is really, I really emphasize it when doing dip powders because I know you can um, apply maybe a layer of glue only on the ledge area. You know, that's that area, that little mountain ledge area, and then put some dip powder there. And then that will help smooth out that, um, that ledge, but I rather just do it with my e-file but you can also do this with a um, hand file just be cautious to not over file <laughs> all right so we did that with all the nails as you can see so i've removed the ledge as most as best as i can i'm feeling i want to make a show using my lovely rose dust brush noise noise i'm ready just gonna leave it there i'm right so i got my little trusty paper towel just to you know i like uh, i'm a clean queen i like to make sure my workstation is nice and clean so we're gonna get out of the amazing products from savaland and we are going to lay them out. I'm going to be needing all of our products here. So we remember we have our files, we have our buffer, we have our three-step dip system, our base, our activator, and our top. And we have our two gram jar of clear dip powder and our cute little brush to, dip, to dust off. The excess once we are in the process of dipping so I was looking at the instructions because you always should especially when you're working with a new system that you may not be used to so I wanted to see how they wanted me to do the dip I know other systems they would like you to actually dip your finger into the container um, at about a 45 degree angle, which you could do in this case. Um, but I'm going to follow the instructions. So I got, um, I'm moving out the items that I'm not gonna need right now. We are on step one, which is the dip base. And I'm going to grab um, just a simple little container, receptacle, if you wish. It's a cupcake liner. <laughs> so I'm grabbing a cupcake liner and I'm gonna use this to um, lay my finger over it and I'm going to sparkle and sprinkle the lovely dip powder over the nails. So I'm taking some uh, isopropyl alcohol, 91%, and I am just going to go ahead and 
dehydrate my nail bed, wipe off any dust, cleanse the area, remove any excess oils that may have transferred, you know, whether it was me touching my nail, whatever the case is, something could have happened in the process since I last did the filing. So I'm just dehydrating the nail. And this step is optional. The base coat really does adhere to your nail well. As long as you do proper prep, you should be fine. However, I include a primer in my enhancements always just to make sure that there's no lifting, there's no any of that. You know, I try to avoid that. So um, any primer would be fine. Any of your favorite brand of primer, it may also be known as a different name. So just apply that gently onto all of your nails. Um, it's really okay just to add it to your nail bed, honestly. You don't have to apply it to the enhancement. The reason I do is because, I don't know if you saw in the previous step, when I applied the alcohol, it kind of whitens the tip. So now I've never actually tried to see like, okay, if I continue going, I apply a base coat, it's gonna clear up. But I've noticed that if I apply a primer to the tip as well, it gets rid of that white haze that comes from the alcohol. So again, just a nice thin layer over all the nails. This is optional, but I do it just to make sure that these enhancements stay stuck on these nails, honey, because y'all know I got these two behemoth dogs and they sure be putting my nails to the test, honey. All right, so I'm just gonna close that up. I'm gonna give it a second to dry. Usually primers are, um, you know, they just air dry. All right, so we got that going. So we're going to begin our process. So this is gonna be fun. I'm excited. So um, this is step one of the Savvy Land Dip Kit. This is your base coat. So this is what your dip powder is going to adhere to. So normally you would just, you know, you can cover the whole nail. Since these are a little longer than, you know, just my nail bed or a shorter nail, I'm going to try and build an apex, which is basically uh, the stress point of your nail. Um, where you like if you look at your nail and you press down on the free edge and you see the little white spot that's your stress point so you usually want that area to be a little thicker or a little uh stronger just to avoid any breakage or anything like that it's always good especially if you have a long nail so as you saw i added the strip i uh, poured the dip powder over it you, I, you saw it saturate i tapped it off I waited a good 10 seconds and gently brushed it off. So as you can see, you see exactly where I laid the um, base coat. And I'm gonna repeat the process. I'm not going all the way up to the actual cuticle. I'm starting a little lower. Um, I'm doing this, you'll see with the next steps, I'm gonna work my way up a little further to the cuticle on different levels, on the different dip layers and that will hopefully get me a little bit of an apex just so I can have a nice, you know, I like to not have a nice curve to my top of my nail, a little slope. So I'm doing the same thing. Tap, 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 tap. And always put your brush back in your bottle immediately after using it. You don't want any of this to dry. If you leave it exposed too long, it will dry up. So this is a very, very finely ground powder. Okay, so this is a dip powder. You shouldn't use acrylic monomer with dip powder. 
okay all dip powder is acrylic technically but all acrylic is not dip powder and vice versa so make sure whichever system you're using that you read the bottles carefully this particular kit is dip only there are some out there that are two in ones where you can use it as a dip powder or as a acrylic where you would use a monomer but in this case we are just doing dips honey so you see where my index finger i've dusted off the other fingers and all we have right now is this little strip just to help begin our process of building up the nail As you see we are just about finishing up now once I'm done with my first layer I just try to scoop all that back up and pour it back into the original jar all right so y'all see what they're looking like so far so now we are going in for our second layer all right so this is where you got to start being attentive to your brush so as you can see we are taking the brush that has the the base on it and we wiped it over that loose powder it's not loose completely but it's not coated completely so as you saw I wiped the brush to wipe off any um, of the dip powder that's still in it off before I put it back in my dip base the reason I do that is because if you don't your bottle and the contents of it can cure and get gunky and sticky and gross and you will not be able to use it so definitely after white um, applying wipe it off and then place it back in your bottle so I'm not sure if you can see for this second layer, I basically retraced the same line that I did for the first layer. However, I went a little further back closer to the cuticle and I went a little wider on the nail bed area. So basically I'm trying to build up specifically that those areas. So center, will be higher and then it'll kind of slope down you know when you look at your nail you want it to be kind of that dolphin nose kind of look especially when you have um, stiletto or almond shapes so you see we're applying we're wiping and we're putting it back A little shake 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 your dip powder shake your dip powder and if you see any areas that might look a little um darker that means it might need a little more dip powder so just sprinkle a little more let it sit for a second give it those taps honey tap 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 all right and now we're going on our index phalange. <laughs> I... So yeah, we're just adding this. This is so awesome. And it's really simple. You see, you just sprinkle it on.
All right, honey, so we have dusted off that excess now off of our pretty much, you know, dried nails. Um, we're gonna pour that excess back into the jar. And now that we've, you know, let it dry, air dry for a good minute, we dusted off the excess powder. Now we are going to go in with step two, numero two, which is the activator. So the activator is what will help cure your nails and be nice and strong. This is what sets the base coat with the dip powder. As you can see, you can take a nice healthy amount and you see it just gets soaked up by the dip powder. So I know I only did a couple layers but I know that I'm going to be doing some more layers after this. So me personally, from what I've seen, you want to apply activator every two to three layers, just so as you are building up your nail, you don't have any uncured spots, you know, towards the bottom of your nail enhancement closer to your natural nail. Once you're filing, you know, you don't want any wet spots or gummy spots that haven't been fully cured. So we're simply taking the activator and placing it all over the nails. And we're gonna let that just, it air dries and it's so easy. Y'all, this kit is so easy to use. On Amazon, I think it was $16.99. So very affordable. And I think it goes on sale sometimes. And I think it's on sale right now for about $14. So hey, anytime you can save some coin and do your own fabulous nails, do it, boo boo. All right, so I'm gonna um, close that activator nice and tight because you always wanna make sure you close these nice and tight. I don't want nothing evaporating. So as you see, we have our little setup done. All right, so now we're going for our next step. The step we're going to be encapsulating. So I've got these cute little chameleon foils. They are two different colors. So I think I'm going to be applying them to the edges, the tips of my nails. haven't used these so we got the little stuff on them but look look at the flakes look how pretty oh my gosh these things are gonna go everywhere but they're so nice they are so pretty and I know with using the Savalan clear dip powder they're gonna shine through I know they are So y'all, um, I'm not sure if you know, but Savaland is available on many different social medias. They're available on Instagram. They're available uh, at Savvyland underscore official. They're available on TikTok at Savaland official. They're on Facebook at Savaland. They're on YouTube at Savaland. Child, they're even on X formerly known as Twitter, at Savaland. <laughs> but yeah, this kit is really awesome. So, all right, so what we're gonna do is, we are gonna use this brush, and I'm trying to, you see, I'm trying to dip it. I just wanna see what happens. Okay, so now we're gonna take our dip base again. So we're going back to step one, and we are going to use this to adhere our decoration. So you see I'm starting here. I'm just going from the free edge of my natural nail and making sure just the entire, you know, enhanced area is covered nice and neatly. Alright, oh, 
wipe that back in the bottle. You really don't have to wipe it at this point because there's activator on the nails, so uh, you're kind of safe to put it back in the bottle at this point. But always remember to wipe that brush. All right, so I'm just dabbing it into the foils. I picked up a little bit of the glue of the base glue when I uh, tapped it onto the nail. So as you can see, I'm just picking up a bit and I'm tapping it onto the area where I placed that glue. And I'm just trying to cover the area from where the free edge started. I'm using it sort of as a camouflage so you know you don't see that line of demarcation from the natural nail past the nail enhancement. But you see I'm just tapping it on gently. I'm using the the brush handle underneath just to make sure no pieces are sticking out. All right, now let's move on to the next one. Next one, we're doing the same type of deal. So we're gonna apply the gel in an even coat from about the free edge line of my natural nail towards the tip. Maybe add a little more just so it can you know, stick a little further down the nail. Now we're going in with the different shade of the chameleon flakes. And we are gonna do the same thing. Just a nice tap, tap, tap just so those flakes can lie flat and make sure that they are adhered properly. Now, again, you know, y'all know me, y'all know that Betty Q Nails is not a nail tech, but you know, I know what I'm doing a little bit. So, I've seen, um, with dips, I didn't want to push it in terms of encapsulation and use larger things. So I wanted to just show that you can definitely encapsulate some nice, beautiful decorations that don't have to be bulky. Nice flat foils that are chameleon or even regular, you know, gorgeous metallic foils would work great. And as you can see, that's kind of a different shade between the two when the light hits it. And we're just gonna continue doing this on all the nails and alternating the colors. So, y'all done seen the mess. These foils done went everywhere. <laughs> All right, back to nice and clean. 
I took, um, I went over the trash can with uh, the dust brush just to brush off any excess foils because child, these things go everywhere. I'm loving the look. I'm loving that reflective shine and the change of color. I think they're fab. So I'm excited that we're at this point. So now we're basically having to, we're gonna do a new setup again of our first setup. We're getting our clear uh, dip powder. We're getting our brush. We're getting step one again, our dip base. And we are getting our cupcake liner to use that as our catcher for excess. So at this point, now the bare part of the nail is still coated with the activator. However, the glitters are not encapsulated so once you see i'm putting the base coat over the entire nail at this point and making sure to coat the foils along the edges make sure to wipe the brush because there could be a transference of some of the glitter into your base that's not gonna necessarily gunk up your bottle but you know you might not want glitter on your next set. So after we did that, we poured over the uh, dip powder to encapsulate. As you can see, there's some parts that look like they needed some more. They look like they were a little uh, wet. So we put more of the dip powder on them to help saturate that area. And now we're gonna go and continue the step. We're going almost to the cuticle area. If you, if you can tell, I'm not totally at the cuticle area yet. And reason being is that with this process of the building the apex, I'm working my way back slowly. Because if you think about it, if you look at a nail from the side, it gets thick in the middle at the apex where you want it but then it starts getting lower and you want it to kind of blend into your cuticle area. So it's a, it's a process, but you gotta trust the process. You gotta trust it. So we're gonna go on ahead and trust this process right now and watch this. So just a little moment. I wanna take a little moment while this is playing out Thank you all so much for continuing to support and be a part of the Betty Q Nails family. I love all y'all so much. I send you positivity, love, prosperity, health, amazing things, always. Every single time we engage and we talk back and forth in the comment section, it's awesome. I love chatting with y'all. You're all fabulous. You know, whether you found me through my hustling of posting my page randomly on somewhere on your page, or you found me through one of my fabulous followers, I'm just so appreciative that you're here. If you have not subscribed, please click the red button and subscribe to Berry Q Nails. We're here to have fun, try different products, show some demonstrations, try out new things. You know, hey, we're all here to enjoy doing nails, share different products, and show our different techniques. You know, everybody learns different ways. Some of us are professionals, some are not. And we're all learning from each other. Even the pros can learn some things from, you know, people that are not necessarily professional. Um, to my loyal subscribers, thank you again so much. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, joining us. We're trying to build this community and get very strong, very cute, and very strong. Also, if you uh, are a part of the family, I'm sure, honey, that y'all know some people that love nails, honey. So if y'all can just like copy the link in a text or a WhatsApp or a MySpace, <laughs> whatever the case is, the TikTok, 
and just share a video, share the page, and just be like, yo, it is Pride Month. Let's show some support to some of our queer creators. You know, let's show some love to creators of color, to people with disabilities, you know, show support. You know, no matter what situation you got going on in life, if you really like doing something, you're going to do it. And any, you know, inhibit inhibitors that I've had, I push through because I love doing this and I love, love, love talking to all of y'all and I love sharing things that I like doing with you guys. And I love that you guys love it too. It's so awesome. So we're just continuing with the process. As you can see, we finally got through and we are done now with the first layer of encapsulation. So again, first layer only. So I'm just going to do a nice little dust off. As you can see, a layer of the dip powder has set over the encapsulation. I'm really loving this brush, by the way, because it is so soft and it's not hugely dense towards the brush end. So you can just back and forth different directions, brush off any excess because just going one direction is not going to remove enough of the excess, I feel. So I like going backwards in the sides, but very gently. And I spilled a little bit of dip powder. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so y'all see what we got, y'all? We got our first layer of encapsulation. So now we're going to go in with our second layer. All right, and now you see I'm going a little closer to that cuticle. I kind of push my brush down and push it back towards the cuticle skin area a bit, but being very careful to not get it on my skin. And I am, again, putting it all over the entire nail, making sure to pay attention to the sidewalls, to the free edges, and we want to make sure that glue is everywhere. Again, we're wiping off to avoid contamination of our bottle. And now we are going into level two of our encapsulation above our foil. So what are we on? I think four, le four layers total now. I think we're on layer four. So you saw there was a little spot that needed a little more. Tap, tap, tap. All right, so now that I'm getting close to the cuticle, I'm taking my little wooden cuticle stick and I'm just taking the little pointy edge and I'm dragging it just ever so gently along the edges and I am removing anything that has flooded. Nothing did flood, but some um, powder might have gotten trapped back there or anything. Be careful because it is still a you know a wet so uh a wet moment <laughs> you know the pinky is still it's the glue and the the base coat and the dip powder are still soft so be careful not to actually touch it because you'll get an indentation of the manicure stick or whatever so again i'm doing the same thing with now my in uh ring finger i placed a little bead and pushed it towards my cuticle and now going along the edges making sure the entire surface of the nail including the free edges are coated make sure to wipe that brush honey I need a little mo look to the stab a little mo my neck my back all right yes 
so y'all see kind of how that dip powder kind of like is it kind of goes into the cuticle area and it kind of like floods in and this is i'm just you know going in with the tip of the nail because i do cap the free edges and i just did a little swirl <laughs> just so we can coat any of the edges and doing the same thing taking the cuticle stick wiping off any excess that gets stuck to the little tip so i'm not transferring or anything like that and just cleaning it up to make sure that we have a nice cute clean application and we're just going to continue doing this honey and we'll be back
All right, so you see we're going back now and doing our nice little dusting, getting rid of all the excess dip powder, anything that has crept into that cuticle area that we cleaned up with our manicure stick, that little well area. We wanna make sure that it doesn't have any bits in there. So I'm going back forth, tapping it, I'm going left and right, tapping it. Tip, tip, tip on hardwood floors, and across the board, face, 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 y'all. Sorry, I got Beyonce on the brain right now. Beyonce, y'all. All right, so. I'm just gonna take this little, I need a little anchor from my long nail. <laughs> so much of that excess powder. I get a little pour heavy sometimes, but that's why you have the little recycling thing. So now I take a little extra and now we're cleaning up because we are no longer needing the powder anymore. Brush, 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 final. All right, so now we are going to what? Activate. We're going back to step two. So what we're doing now is we are basically going to set the encapsulation that we just did. So you can see I'm applying the activator liberally over the entire nail. Like, I mean, if I could, I would just dip the nail in there. But as you can see, I'm just, you know, trying to go over the entire thing and the nail is just soaking it up, honey. You see that one? There you go. I love seeing the liquid go in and just like absorb. It just looks so cool. So, <laughs> it's just awesome and we're just going to go ahead and activate all of our nails All right, so we are on the thumbnail. So um, I am going to take some of the activator and I'm gonna apply it to the free edge underneath the nail along the sides, just to make sure anything that I might've missed can absorb the liquid.
All right, so now we got all of our activator on. I'm gonna wait a few minutes. It says about two minutes to wait in the actual um, little pamphlet directions. Uh, so I have my dust collector on. Now, my first thing I was like, mm, maybe I'll use this buffer to try and like even out the surface. But like after a minute, I was like, honey, I don't think this is gonna work. Um, I didn't think, I think this was just not the step to use that. So I'm going in with the file that they provided and I'm going along the edges just to clean up, thin out the phalanges. I have a hard time, mind you, I'm not sure, I don't even think I mentioned it, but I'm sure the people that have been here for a bit know my right hand is my dominant hand. So I am right-handed. So I'm doing all of this with my non-dominant hand. So my filing when I'm using my non-dominant hand is not the best. I don't know, it's like my, my, my hand doesn't know how to work. <laughs> so I don't know, I just need more practice with using my left hand and I think it'll be fine. All right, so we're just finishing up, trying to get those edges. You know, my finger go like that, so don't worry about it. <laughs> but I did notice that one of my fingers did look a little crooked, to, um, but I think I the, it's just the way I applied the nail tip. Um, my finger do go like that, but you know, you can apply tips going two ways. You can follow it using the knuckle you know, following your joints from the knuckle up, or you can follow it using your fingertip. And yeah. All right, so uh, I am now gonna go in, now that I filed, you basically are filing off some of what you activated. So I go in with another layer of activator to basically go in, 
repenetrate anything that I just revealed from filing and let that get soaked up so that can set and I won't have any problems if I continue to file. So now we're done with the activator. I'm just gonna give that some a uh, couple minutes to uh, cure and solidify. Oh my god, it is so hot, y'all! It is like ridiculously hot in Florida. All right, so now I'm taking my sanding band with my e-file. Um, this step is not required, obviously. Um, the kit does not come with an e-file, but I find this easier for evening out the surface of your nail, getting those side walls nice and sharp, and using it also to um, get that uh, angled kind of look for that area behind your apex. So we're just gonna take this, go along the sides, try to, you know, work the shape a little bit and get it done, hun. So y'all know me, I love me, my little sanding band bit. This one get a lot of work done. So I just finished with the sanding band and now I'm switching over to an extra fine safety bit. Now this one I'm going to use to go along the edges. Now this is going to really make everything look nice and snatched. This is what's going to get me the shape that I want around the edges of my cuticle and this really does help refine your final shape. So. You see me just going along the sides. I'm using it in reverse right now. And I'm just going over the entire surface. So this is an extra fine bit. So this one is going to not, this is not for really removing bulk. It's really for refining your shape, getting the levels nice and even, going around the cuticle area to get a nice rounded cuticle nail shape and I'm going over the whole nail just to get it nice and smooth. I love this bit. This bit works very well I feel. A lot of people feel that this bit is not good because of the safety thing and that they feel like it 
flattens out the nail area close to the cuticle but I mean as long as you're careful with it and it's all about how you angle your e-file handle so as long as you're you know moving it and holding it at a, the right angle you know you shouldn't get any issues Okay, so we're pretty much done with that one now. Now that I'm, you know, got a pretty good surface area, I'm going to go in with the buffer that was provided. This is, it's pretty rough 
the surface i'm not exactly sure does it provide does it say how much uh, nah, 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 nah. Uh, it does not say what grit it is, but you know, it is definitely enough to help smooth out the nail surface. So, I mean, look, I can't, cannot stop gushing about this set. It includes the powder, a 60 gram powder at that, along with the dip top, the dip base, and the activator all in one, along with the files, the buffer, all this awesome stuff. It's great. It gives you a perfect dip nail system situation. And I was reading up on this because um, apparently a lot of dip liquids uh, are more toxic than others. So while using this, the dip liquids, so far I've used the base and the activator, there is little to no smell. Now I have done practice nails before, like using, you know, a practice finger or practice hand with dip before with different brands. And I am not even kidding, the base, and the activators on those literally, literally make my eyes water and I get a little lightheaded. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Like, I thought monomer was bad, but some companies' dip powder liquids are really bad. Like, I have two other companies that I wanted, um, that I have the liquids for that I, you know, I just bought off of Amazon and, you know, just a little kit that comes with, you know, their version of their dip liquids and man, the way my eyes were watering, working on those. So I really, really love this kit because it is little to no smell. It's a hundred percent vegan, cruelty free and non-toxic. So hopefully, I mean, I've heard of things called the dip flu, which is kind of like a it's kind of like a contact dermatitis type of situation. You don't want that. So I love that this set is non-toxic. It's vegan, cruelty free, all those awesome things. And honestly, I'm loving the results. And the little to no smell is a big thing for me. I'm very sensitive to some smells and so is my hubby. He can smell the nail glue and nail bases from the other brands, but not this one, honey. Savaland is very, very low odor to almost odorless, I might say. So I took my paper towel with some isopropyl alcohol just wiped off all the layer, um, all the nails just to dehydrate again, to clean off any excess dust. And now I'm taking the final step, which is the dip top, step three. And look, you can see the shine of the flakes starting to come through. I'm being very careful to avoid my cute, um, to avoid my skin. So I'm, you know, going at all angles, trying to make sure that the bristles go only on the nail. Make sure that I got the whole nail covered, going along the edges, capping the free edge, and making sure that the top is a nice even layer. And now we're moving on to our uh, ring finger. Again, same thing, nice, even layer. So again, this is, this kit is awesome. You do not require a UV LED lamp. So this will air dry. Um, it, the temperature and humidity of your room will definitely affect the drying time. So 
As y'all know, I'm in Florida where it is very hot. Look at that foil shining through, it's so pretty. Um, and I'm just applying, you see, to the edges. Um, the humidity and heat definitely have an effect on drying time. So, it does say for the top coat that it should dry after about two minutes. However, with the humidity and the heat that I have here, these were taking maybe close to about five to eight minutes. So very similar to almost like a nail polish, you know, you just have to keep it out and cute and make sure not to, you know, touch anything. But we'll get to that point in a minute. So as you can see, we're just gonna continue doing this. Yes, look how shiny, I love it. Those flakes are so pretty. Okay, so y'all know I like to put a top coat under my nails as well. I find that it definitely helps bring out, especially if, you have, if you're using like a clear nail, which this Savalan kit did come with the clear dip liquid. And let me tell you, honey, it is clear. It is very see-through. So especially when you have a design like that, I definitely love to have a clear, um, I like to, I'm sorry, I like to top coat underneath so the design can really shine through there as well. So I'm just going up along, being careful not to touch my fingertip underneath. And as I'm just placing it and just kind of like pushing it down a bit. And yeah. Just going along, a blind tap cute. All right, so now we're going to let this dry. So I, as you can see, I said a minute. It didn't turn out to be a minute. <laughs> um, I, this is my second layer that I'm applying of the top coat. I like to add a second layer just because it, I feel that it adds extra protection, adds extra shine, um, and it really seals in everything, especially when you're using any sort of encapsulation. Um, so like I said, because of how hot it was in here, it did take about five to eight minutes, I think it was, to fully dry where I could, you know, touch the surface of the nail and would not get as tacky surface back. 
So we're just gonna go in and apply a second coat on all the nails and keep it cute, keep it shiny, and keep it mad, lovely, and very cute. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry now on this second coat. All right, y'all thought I was playing. I brought out my little fan because <laughs> I needed these nails to dry. <coughs> Excuse me. I needed these to dry. So I actually brought out my little desk fan just to like hold it in front of the fan to help it dry a little faster and it helped. Um, so I'm gonna just put a little bit of bling on this set, the tiniest bit. No, I didn't say they were gonna be tiny, but we gonna put a little bit of bling. So I'm taking a little bit of some rhinestone glue and I'm just going to apply a little bit right in the spot where I want to put my gem, my little charm. Right, got that on there. I know you're supposed to kind of maybe take these little, those little plastic things off of your wax pencil, but I like keeping them on because it helps me pick it up, <laughs> especially with the long nails. All right, so I think I feel like a diamond because of all my beautiful diamond cubs out there. So we're going to do a diamond shape. Oh, 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 wait, oh, see, I can do it. The Cardi B. Um, so yeah, I like it like that. So I'm gonna just grab my little flashing lamp, my little portable UV lamp, and I'm just going to flash cure that stone in place. Oh, yes, yes, it's so shiny. So I'm thinking of like, I'm like, ugh, it's not enough. It's not enough. So I'm taking a little more of the rhinestone glue and I'm just applying it on either side of the diamond. And I'm going to close that up. And let's see which one we're gonna pick. 
Got this tiny little one right here. I'm just gonna place that right there. Uh, all right. Um, go on their video page, bro. You go on ahead and do that. Apply that. Put that down. Put that right on. And we're gonna put one on the other side. I just wanted to have two little crystals kind of like acting as like little holders for the diamond. I don't know. Something random, something cute. Just because, uh, you know, it's a simple set, but it makes a statement with these chameleon flakes and these lovely green stone that when a light hits it turns blue, purple, every other color. So I'm flash curing just to make sure that these stones don't move. All right, so they look okay. So let's go on ahead. We're gonna close these. Yeah, it's me. I'm still trying to figure out, I'm like, mm -hmm. Should I put something else? Should I put something else? This is me trying to be extra. But then I'm like, nah. Nah. I even showed hubby. He was like, yo, stop. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> it don't need it. All right, so I'm going to go in my full lamp and I'm going to give that middle finger that I just applied the charms with that rhinestone glue a full two minute cure. And here's what we're working with right now. So you see, we got a bit of an apex. We do got a little bit of height when we look at our nails from the side, which is what we wanted. So now I'm just here with my fan. You know, I'm still letting these dry. Yes, honey, they look so pretty. I love them. All right, honey, y'all know what we do at the end of our manicures, honey. We apply some cuticle oil, a nice quality cuticle oil. Wherever you find it, wherever company you trust, whoever products you like, get some awesome cuticle oil. I got this from my local beauty supply and just rub that into your cuticles. I try to do it daily, at least once a day, um, just to let that oil penetrate the skin, to keep it healthy, to avoid dryness, and to keep everything looking snatched as always, cause duh, we always gotta stay very cute, honey. So let's close her up. It's gonna rub. Look at that. I think they came out cute. For look, I've done dip kits before for a dip powder set. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> I was able to create an apex and all. But thank y'all so much for joining us. I'm gonna just show y'all again what we got from this beautiful Savvy Land Expert dip kit. We got the buffer. We got the two files one is a buffer as well we got the two extra brushes for your dip liquids we got that beautiful dust off brush the liquids one two and three base top and activator two grams jar of the clear awesome value y'all check out this Savaland expert dip powder kit i love y'all so so much sending out Mwah. double 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 triple kisses to everybody and pushing that love and light out to each and every one of you as always love y'all stay very cute peace